Welcome to Big Board Showdown. My name is Jason Gold. I am joined by Steph Smalls. We are introducing you to Champion Round's newest game mode called Big Board Showdown. It is the only place that you can draft a fantasy roster directly from the NFL Draft Prospects. We are so excited to debut this game mode and to talk a little bit about how to draft here. So we're actually going to do a live draft on this show. Steph, welcome. Are you as excited as I am to do this? Yeah. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my voice. That's the first time that I've seen that video and I'm actually very hype. This concept is so awesome, especially when we're all itching to start drafting and the draft season gets so exciting. So we have a live draft starting in three minutes and 30 seconds. Until then, we'll kind of tell you how you play this game mode. So what you do, it's a snake draft. You go in between six and 16 people can participate and you're going to draft a full roster you have to draft a one quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, a tight end, a flex spot, which can be used on any player other than a quarterback, an offensive lineman, and four defensive spots. And you earn points based on where the players are drafted in the actual NFL draft starting on April 28th in Las Vegas. I might have to fly out. I'm super excited that it's in Las Vegas. All along the Las Vegas trip is going to be an absolute blast. Can't wait for it for that Thursday night. Um, so the way that you earn points, obviously, is by where your players get drafted. So, for example, we all believe that Aiden Hutchinson from Michigan is going to be the first overall pick to the Jacksonville Jaguars. So if you get that right, you draft Aiden Hutchinson, obviously, in the first round. You will earn 20 points if he ends up being the number one pick. Picks one through five are all worth 20 points, and it goes down from there. All the way down to the seventh round, which is worth one point for your guys, except for if you had the last pick in the draft, Mr. Irrelevant, which is worth a whopping 50 points. This is our third year of playing Big Board Showdown. We have yet to have anyone nail Mr. Irrelevant in their drafts. So we're excited. We hope that it happens. Not only are we going to do a 50-point burger for that, but if you get it, there's going to be a cash prize, and we're going to get you the player's jersey from the team that they're drafted on. Because why not? <laughs> we haven't seen it happen yet. So we really That's hope to see awesome. it along the way. Uh, that yeah, so is if you awesome. Get it, it's going to be so cool. I like if Mr. Relevant happens, we're going to go bananas. We, we yes. hope it happens so much. Uh, so the way that this works after the top five picks is picks six through 20 are worth 15 points. 20 through 40 is worth 12. The rest of the second round is worth 10. And then it goes round three is eight round four, is seven round five is six round six. I believe is four or two and round seven is one point. Have to double check those numbers, but I believe that that's it. So here we go. Right. We got two thirty left in the draft. Let's talk about a couple of draft prospects that you are looking forward to taking potentially in this six person draft that we are about to get going. So I know you, the Giants have the fifth and the seventh pick. Who do you think is going to go there, and are they worthy of being taken uh, in first round or maybe the second round of Big Board Showdown? Yeah, I think that taking, you know, these tackles, Evan Neal, Icky, one of those guys, they're, they're bound to end up in that top five. So the, I feel like those are really safe options to get those 20 points that you can get if you get one of the guys that are one through five. All right. So who do you think are actually going to be the top five picks in this draft that you're going to oh. need to get in the first round here? Aiden Hutchinson, obviously a huge shocker there. Evan Neal, don't see him falling outside of uh, the top five. Then you start talking about the cornerbacks. And I think the cornerbacks start making things really interesting in this draft because there's all this talk about Sauce. He even went out on his Twitter saying he's the best uh, player in this draft. And then uh, you also have Stingley, who is such a good prospect, but is falling off because of his injury. Um, I don't know if either of those guys end up going in the top five there. I think that that would be a little steep for them. There's also talk about Kyle Hamilton, who I think will fall a little bit further than people are thinking. Um, and then the edges, right? There's so many teams that need edges. And uh, like th uh, Mr. Thibodeau, everyone is so low on him, but I don't think teams are going to be as low on him as the, the, everyone else is. My Oregon guy. All right. We are officially underway okay. in the draft. Uh, I have the third pick. You have the fourth pick. We're going head yeah. to head here. We you are. got me around the turn. I got you before Aiden Hutchinson just got taken with the first pick in the draft. Second pick is on the clock. You have 30 seconds to make a selection here. So you got to pay attention. This yeah. is not like one of your slow drafts. All right. Uh, Malik Willis, 
taken second. That means that I am on the clock here. I'm going to go safe. I'm going to go with your guy. I'm going to go with Evan Neal. I'm going to take your advice. I'm going to lock in that offensive line position and hopefully get my 20 points here. I'm torn between Evan and Icky, but I think that both of them will probably end up going. So here we go. Evan Neal is my selection. Um, and I'm going to go with Icky right after. Uh, I think he does get past the Giants if if he's sitting there waiting for them. All right. So we are at the fifth pick on the board thus far. Aiden Hutchinson, Malik Willis, Evan Neal, and Icky Kwanu. The quarterback position, really interesting how you want to play this. You only need to draft one of them. But Malik's probably the only one that's maybe going to get taken in the top five, which would be the Lions. And that still seems like a really a long shot. Probably a good chance that he gets taken before. Uh, well, let's see. You need to get him drafted in the top 20, six through 20. So I think there's probably a good chance that Willis and Pickett probably get taken between those, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. I think because it gets interesting once you get to six because you have Carolina, then there's also the Falcons sitting there at eight and then Seattle at nine. And you could probably start making an argument, especially if someone goes and uh, reaches, which I would consider it a reach to take one of these quarterbacks in that top five. If they go and reach, are people going to start getting hectic? What's going to happen? Uh, especially if Carolina, maybe they wait, maybe Carolina is the first one to take a quarterback off the board. But uh, I think it's safe to say that Malik and probably pick it or the, your two safest options um, as far as, but then you could also argue with the way that this, and now I'm on the clock. I'll probably talk if I don't. Let's see. You're, go for it. So the, the last see. three picks, oh, Kyle gosh. Hamilton, Kayvon Thibodeau, Charles Cross on the back on 2.1, and then Kenny Pickett at 2.2. So you take Sauce Gardner I'm gonna take with Sauce. your first offensive pick. I got to make a selection now. I think that I am going to go – Hmm, – I'm torn here. I think that I'm going to go wide receiver here, which is kind okay. of out of the realm. I don't know why I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. We're going to go with Drake London, who I think is going to be the first – wide receiver taken i think there's a chance he gets taken at four so maybe i'm getting a uh, top five mm -hmm. pick here potentially with the jets taking him at uh yeah 1.4 in the first round uh trail i think Burks all signs right are afterwards. starting to point yeah it's starting to point towards the jets like things are really picking up steam for them to take a wide receiver there uh at four i was just watching a pod and uh they had drake london going as well there at four all right, so I am back on the clock. The last picks, Jermaine Johnson, Derek Stingley, Brees Hall. Where am I going to go here? I think that I'm going to try and find – got to find Trayvon Walker. He hasn't gone yet. Right. I think there's a chance that he ends up being a – I think you just missed your pick. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You did. You did. Uh, no. <laughs> I know. It's such a crap pick, too. Uh, it's such a crap pick. <laughs> I took Garrett right. Wilson. Uh, I think, right. you know, he, he'll be one of those first couple of receivers that comes off the board. So there's some safety in those top wide receiver uh, prospects, especially for this. Oh, it was, contest. it wasn't a, a miss pick. I, I typed in Walker and I hit. Well, oh, <laughs> that's something I would do. I'm actually surprised that it was you that did that. Not myself. Oh, that is so funny. All right. Well, I kind of screwed myself here, but we're going to get back into it. Uh, all right. I need to go find, I need to go find some wide receivers over here. Maybe some running backs, tight end. What do you think about the tight end position? I know you got a lot of guys you like, but is there anyone worthy of picking this high? Where are we at now? Middle I'm probably waiting round. another round. I think cause there's, you know, this is such a deep defensive class. I feel like tight ends, you know, you might see them start going towards round three, round four and still very great prospects, but uh, because of all the positions. I think running back is going to be the position that I maybe hold on. Um, and I'm back You're on up. the clock here. Let's see. With your fourth round pick. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm going to take Trevor Penning because I think he'll go at the end of the first. Um, all right. Well, I snuck Walker in there on the back end. That was good. I, I almost I had yeah. him hiding in my queue. <laughs> all right, there it is. So, all right, so I got him on the board. I have some unnamed offensive lineman who's going to be filling my flex spot, probably earning me zero points, but maybe we'll see. Uh, all right, so we're moving quick here. Last picks, Kent Walker, Desmond Ritter, James Cook. I think that I got to take a quarterback next time around because there's only probably six that are worthy of being taken, right? So I was just thinking that. So who do, who do I want? Sam Howell, Matt Corral, or Carson Strong? 
I think there's a chance that Corral ends up at that 32nd pick to the Lions. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take a chance and take him. I'm going to guess that you're probably going to take Sam Howell right here on the back. I am going to take Sam Howell right here. Um, he probably, right. I mean, I don't see him going in the first round. He'll he'll be a second round pick, but um, at least you're getting still some points, especially the second round. Once you get to round three, that's when like there's the drop off in the points for the contest. So, yeah. All right, so running back, we're already in a spot where the highest projected running back is in the middle of the third round. So may have to go that way. Wait on some wide receivers, especially since there's going to be probably 15 of them taken in the first two, okay. two and a half rounds of the NFL draft. Yes, I think that's the way to go. And then it's tight end. You have to really, like, this. Is a, there's kind of a thought process that goes into this, too. Tight end and running back are really, really interesting how you want to play those out. Defense, they're available right. everywhere. Quarterback, you probably have to have one of the top six. Wide receiver's pretty deep. Offensive line's pretty deep. So maybe you want to take the guys who are going to be in the top five early and then just wait on those positions until the end. Yeah, I think so. I think that is probably the way to go. When tight right, ends, so is there any off the board? Uh, there are, off. I'm back on. Yeah, McBride's off. You're back on okay. the clock here with your okay. Sixth pick. Uh, oof. I think I'm going to take my next wide receiver in Jamison Williams. So then pick. I'm done I mean, with wide receivers. Um, not only that, but he's going to end up being a you know a top twenty mm-hmm, pick. So you're going to get those exactly. points. All right, right, I'm going to go – I have to go running back here. Six round, 6.4 pick. I'm going to go Brian Robinson. Those Alabama running backs always seem to shoot up the board. Probably end up being a second-round pick, maybe a third-round pick. So just get that out of the way. Right. And see where I'm at. Uh, maybe tight end next? I don't know. Yeah. I know – I know. I got your guy queued up. I'm going to steal do? him from you, I think. I think that I'm going to have oh, to steal him okay. from you on the back – We'll yeah, see. he's one. I think he goes. And then, but I think, you know, after Dulcich and, you know, depending likely and Weidemeyer, there's an argument for, but I might wait. Also, Rucker, I guess, is another one. But after that, it's like not looking too hot. So I might All go right. tight end even. I'm going tight end. I'm taking your boy. Yeah. I'm taking, I'm taking Greg okay. from UCLA. Dulcich. That's all right. I'll take it. Um, it. I don't love Weidermeyer and I can't love him, but is he well, he's, him? he's like not likely. He's probably not going to get drafted at this point. Yeah. I would take, okay. I would take likely if I were you, if I'm giving, I, at least he's going to yeah. get drafted. Yeah. I'm going to go likely. It was between maybe Rucker, but I think Rucker is going to end up falling a little bit further. And if you only right. need one tight end, you might as well get it out of the way and not wait until the end. All right, so as of right now, I have my quarterback. I have one running back, one wide receiver. My tight end, flex, and offensive line are taken, and I have one defensive uh, player taken also. So kind of figure out what I want to do here. And there's a lot of value left at in defensive players because yeah, you've I... still got McDuffie. you still got Wyatt. McCreary is still on the board. Who else? I think... Logan Hall. I think I got to go – I got to get premium positions. I got to get spots right now. I need the guys who are going to get linebackers. There's a lot of teams that need linebackers uh, pretty badly too. So. So you have no running backs on the board right now. No, I like, and I don't even like, I just like, don't even care even right now. I think it's fine. It's actually a good strategy. If you're going to punt a position, running backs probably a good one to punt. Like, you know, you still have Haskins is still here, White, Spiller, Pierce. Um, there's still some options. I, I might punt another round before. I am going to take Wyatt. Oh, snipe me. Finally got a full Did snipe. I? Yeah. Full snipe. Full snipe. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Daxton Hill here because I think he's gonna be a first rounder. I think Kansas City's gonna take him with one of their picks to replace Tyron Matthew at uh, either 29 or 30. Probably take a wide okay. receiver with one of the other ones. 
All right, so now we're down to wide receiver. I'm happy I have my wide receivers out of the way, actually. I think that I need to get a wide receiver on the next one. So my wide receiver options right now, John Mechie, Calvin Austin, who we know that Dan will take with whatever his first pick in the entire draft is. He'll probably take him (laughs) and Bo Melton. Uh, Jahan Dotson. Also on the board, Christian Watson, who ended up might being a first round pick. That's kind of the it's kind of the break, right? Sky Moore, maybe. Yeah, Sky Moore is interesting. He's another one that I think will likely go higher than people expected. Do you think there's a chance he makes it in the first round? No. Okay. Then I'm gonna go I don't know, Josh. unless a team is like in love with him. The problem is there's just the other position, a lot of them are way deeper than so I went Jahan. Dotson's, Dotson's that's a great pick. Just because I think there's a chance he's a first rounder. If not, he's going to be a high second rounder. All right. So now we need running back and two defensive spots left on the board. I. Mm. Given all the team's needs. McCreary, though, I'm going to do it. I didn't want to. Oh, am I on auto? What happened? Oh, good. What I got happened? him anyways. Yeah, Woo! you got him. Huh. That was an you auto pick. So that was nice. <laughs> Thank you. It's what I'm I was going to do per- regardless. All right. The algorithm is working. Yes. Right. Uh, so we are at almost the end of the ninth round. Have a couple spots left on the board. I need two defensive spots and a running back. What do you need, Steph? I need one defensive and two running backs. All right. So we're kind of in the same position here. See how this plays out. I got one that I'm looking at, but you pick before me, and I'm wondering if you're going to end up sniping me or if you're going to go towards running backs. Hmm. I just don't love – I'll tell you, there's a lot of linebackers left that are very interesting. This is So we got guys – if you wait this long to get a quarterback, like someone just took D.R. King as their Mm -hmm. quarterback here. Which is pointless. Like – at that point. Is, is he going to get drafted? Like, you got to take a quarterback really, really early. And I would have went with Strong before I would have went that way, probably. Strong's still on the board? Yeah, so is Zappy. Shocking. Yeah, Zappy will probably get taken probably like fifth round, something like that. Right. I feel like it's good to get your quarterback. Like, it doesn't have to be the first two rounds of this, but, like, it's it's worth, depending on how people draft, I guess. Especially too. if you're in like a if you're in like a twelve team league in this, and there's oh, only yeah. six six quarterbacks that are probably going to be taken in the first two rounds, you got to get one of those six guys. You need those points. All right, yeah. Christian Watson off the board. All goes to con- uh, white, I guess. Here, I don't love that. Went for the running back. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to go deep. I feel like there's better value right now, but I should probably be responsible and get at least one running back out of the way. <laughs> I went to defense, Kair Elam from uh, Florida. Again, I think he'll probably end up being a second rounder, but trying to fill in these last couple defensive spots. I have one running back and one defensive spot left. I feel like I'm punting running back until the very end here, but so are you. So maybe I got to be out here. I don't don't know how I want to play this. (sighs) George. So for example, it's the 10th round, sixth team draft. So you're at pick 60 around there. And George Pickens mm-hmm. just went off the board, a guy who could be a first round pick. So if you want to wait on wide receiver, you can definitely wait. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. So for my last defensive player, I'm going to go with Logan Hall. Well, good thing I'm before you and I'm going to take Logan Hall. Oh, crap. Why did I say that out loud? <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. Well, we both sniped each other once. Though. Okay. It's That's perfect. fine. I'll allow it. Let's go with oh gosh. Or... You know what? I'm gonna go with Perry on Winfrey. A little throwback you know, to the gonna, senior bowl. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go with Perry on Winfrey and hope that he goes earlier than I think he's gonna go. Where do you think he's gonna go? I don't know. Oh. He kind of fell off a little bit. I feel like there was steam around him when the senior bowl happened. And now everyone's like not on the Winfrey train. 
I think he'll probably end up being like a third round pick, something like that, which is fine. Like, is your last defensive spot? You're going to get mm-hmm. away with a th- one third rounder on right. roster for sure. And defensive, I mean, it's so deep. Look at the guys that are still on the board as far as defense goes. Yeah, so defense still on the board right now are like pick 70, DeMarvin Leal, Fedarian Mathis, Channing Tindall, Brian Asamoa, Leo Chanel, Damon Clark. So a lot of good linebackers here. Kind of falls off a little bit after that, but I defensive guys are going to be taken all over the board. Right. Defense is where all – like if you can wait on defense other than like a top 20 pick, just wait. I, I think there are other yeah. premium positions in this. I think that's the way to go as well. All right. So we're both down to running backs with our last pick. You're up in 17 seconds. Running back still on the board. CJ Verdell, my duck, but he keeps getting injured. He's had like 14 torn ACLs. Max Borgie, who's like the poorest man version of Christian McCaffrey, uh, <laughs> alive. Ty Chandler, Keontae Ingram, Devontae Price. Kevin Harris, Snoop, Snoop Connor. I don't know. There's Tyler Algier, who a lot of people really, really liked, and then he ran really slow. I'm going to rely on – so I'm going to go with one of my guys, and I am going to take Damian Pierce because I think that scouting departments are going to like him more than the general public does because he was just super underutilized in college, and I think he holds a lot he'll, – he's going to hold a lot of value at the next level. All right, and I'm going to go with Tyler Batty from Missouri because he's fast and I think he has a role. I think he kind of reminds me a little bit of, oh, my God, who's uh, Demetric Felton, kind of that same role that he on the Browns last year, kind of that same player. He was taking the fourth round, so I think that's probably a good spot. All right, draft has ended. I want to see my roster now. I want to see your roster as well. So all you need to do if you go to your roster is just click on active, your league, Go to entry and it'll take you right yeah. to your teams. And then there's a standings page. Also, you can also share it at the top. But so my team, why don't you run through your full team here, Steph? Okay. So I have Howell, White, Pierce, Garrett Wilson, Jameson Williams, Isaiah Likely, Icky, Trevor Penning, Sauce, uh, Devontae Wyatt, McCreary, and Winfrey, which I actually love this. So at the top, it's it gives you your projected points. What is your projected points on the left side? Mm. Oh, 140. 140? Yeah. Oh, you kicked my ass. I had 129. This is very bad. I'm getting beat at my own game over here. It's uh, very all bad. right. My team. Oh my god. <laughs> my team is QB is Matt Corral. Running backs are Brian Robinson and Tyler Batty. My wide receivers, Drake London and Jahan Dotson. Tight end actually has your dad tag on it. Greg Delch. I see That's it. I just saw it on Damian Pierce. I'm so happy. That's great. So if you see any of those dad tags, those are all Steph's quote unquote and tagged dad guys. Uh, those are really funny. Evan Neal is my offensive lineman. And then Matt Let's Go from North Dakota is my mistake pick who is in the flex. My defensive players, Trayvon Walker, Daxton Hill, Kyer Elam, and Logan Hall. So that does it. We we have drafted. It only took Well, how many minutes. points did you have? 129 projected. Woohoo! I know. You beat me. And I think it's all because I drafted that Matt, Matt Will Let's Go guy. If Matt oh, Will Let's Go, if he ends up being, I hope this out, he's got to be Mr. Irrelevant now, right? Matt Will Let's Go. Keep that name in the back of your head. He's going to be Mr. Irrelevant. Somehow this is going to end up working out for me. Um, so, yeah, that does it. That's how you play Big okay. Board Showdown. We, You could follow along. It's all going to be on the screen uh, when we're done here. You can see us playing. And we're going to be drafting so many leagues. Like, this is going to be crazy how many leagues we're going to play in between now and April 28th. And here's the deal. This is the, We'll part with this. We're going to create our own leagues. So each is individually. We'll have the Gambling with Gold League. We'll have the Smalls League. We'll have an Everyday's Draft League. If you beat us, if you beat the champs, you're going to earn $100 straight up cash. Give us your Venmo. We'll pay you straight up cash if you're able to beat us in big board showdown if you don't sorry losers you get nothing yeah you get nothing so not even, not even a dollar not even a dollar you might have to pay us actually uh i think that's fair all right that does it for the big board showdown preview 
Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in some drafts soon. Until then, see you later. See ya.